Hey guys, welcome into the Guilty as Charged podcast. As always, I am your host. Joining me today is Alex and a special guest today, Mr. Larry Roundtree, Chargers running back, number 35. Larry, how are you doing today, man? I'm good, good, man. How are you? We are doing great. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for taking the time. Uh, well, we're going to cover a lot of stuff with you today. I want to get your thoughts. I know you guys always like to move on to the previous game, uh, but you specifically, right, you get to go back to Kansas City, back to Missouri, get a win against the Chiefs. How special was that moment for you going back to uh, the state of Missouri and getting a win with your boys at the Chargers? Oh, it was great. Um, despite, you know, because of, you know, what happened of COVID my senior year, we were supposed to play in that stadium. So, you know, I was eager to get up in there, man, and um, get a win. So, um, you know, we, we came out as a team, you know, it was, it was, a you know, it came down to, as Gabe would say, Gabe never would say the wires down to the wire. So it was great going in there and winning, you know, moms drove there. So it was cool. She drove 14 hours. I told her not to do it, but she did it anyway. So, Dang. Let's go. I was a little, you know, you know, we won, but I was really just trying to get her a touchdown, you know, just get my mom a touchdown, you know what I'm saying? So it was great, though, to come out there and have support, you know, get the um, my first jersey swap with Nick Bolton, my teammate who I played with at Missouri. And um, it was great, man. Yeah, we, you were so close to getting that one touchdown, man. You're so close. Got the penalty call. I was back. like, got to get it from mom. No, <laughs> <laughs> it's OK, though. Long season, man. Yeah, I just wanted to ask you, you know, you talk about playing Nick Bolton. Obviously, he got a good hit on you. You got some runs in. Uh, how did that kind of feel? And was it sort of surreal to sort of play with him? Uh, you know, me and Nick, you know, throughout college, we, he is the best linebacker I've ever faced, you know, as far as from college football. But I would say me and him always had that that mentality. Like, you know, when, it, when we get on the field, you know, it's business. You know, it's it's either I'm going to get you or you're going to get me. But, you know, we have a type of respect for each other, you know, but when it comes down to us playing football, you know, you know, it's, it's a business, you know, he's not trying to lose. I'm not trying to lose. We have that mentality. So um, it was great, you know, to play with my, you know, my teammate, you know, we ain't played against, played with each, well, against each other, I would say, you know, since our last bowl practice, but just good okay. to go out there and, you know, face each other. Yeah, I have to I have to imagine that would be kind of a crazy experience. Um, I, I got to ask you, though, uh, did you get some victory brisket after you guys came back from uh, Gabe and Justin? Uh, believe it or not, I haven't tried any of it. So. That's yeah. on the list then. I haven't tried it, but I was, you know, after this game, we're, I'm going to try some. I asked Gabe to give me to because uh, he goes to uh, Justin's house and I was like, give me can you uh, give me a, a piece? <laughs> And he was like, no, come over. And I was like, well, I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of tired. And I was hanging out with um, my mom. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to just chill with mom. So I was talking to my mom. So uh, maybe next time. I haven't tried it. But apparently it's bomb, though. That's what we hear, man. That's what everybody has talked I gotta about. I got to try it. I got to get back at you on that because <laughs> apparently it is bomb. We're going to see. I mean, Jerry Tillery in that video, the all-in video, he seemed to think that was pretty freaking good. Um, so how do you celebrate a win like that? Do you have kind of a ritual that you have after a big win that you kind of sit down and, and you know, consistently do like a victory risk it? Um, I don't, I just, I just, you know, you know, after a win like that, man, we just on the plane, man, that's the best time, you know, winning the best times are when you win, you, when you went on the road, cause it's hard to win on the road and you are back on that flight, man. It's the best times, man. You get to have fun. Guys are up, you know, having fun, watching movies, chill. The best part for me is just being on the plane with the guys after a win because it's fun. You feel the energy. It's not sad. You know, you know, you want to win on the road, you know, and, and it's hard to win on the road. So the best part, I would say, is just being on the plane with the guys. You know, everybody's smiling. Everybody's having fun, you know. But I would say probably the – but on home games, I would say after you just – I just go home, man. I don't be doing anything. <laughs> Yeah, I just wanted to ask, you know, uh, when it comes down to uh, some of the um, stuff that we talk about, right, you, you're coming from a SEC Saturday sort of background. How does that compare with the NFL Sunday and, and that sort of routine, the level of competition and all that? Uh, I would say it's a little different, you know, playing on Sunday. You know, I got my days, you know, a little bit mixed up. You know, it's a different schedule <laughs> how compared to college. It was Monday, off day, Tuesday throughout the week you practice and then Saturday we play and Friday we're at the hotel. So now it's just different. You know, I work 
from let's say Monday to all the way to Saturday. Yeah. We Saturday is we go to the hotel and we play on Sunday. So just a day off, you know, because in college it was funny because on Saturdays we would play and then Sunday as meetings would go on and we would lift and then come back in the locker room, we would watch Sunday. We would watch Sunday football. So it's like <laughs> now it's like on Saturdays when we're at work here, when we get a break, we like, like oh, well, we watch college football. So it's kind of like flip-flopped a little bit, you know what I'm saying, as far as the routine aspect. <laughs> so just watching college and they will – and college will watch Sunday football. It's just – it's great, man. Yeah, I can't imagine that you guys have much time now to sit down, like, on Saturdays and watch uh, college football, maybe. You now, know, what I mean, hotel. like, sit down, I mean, like, when you have, like, a little break and you go into the locker room and it's, okay, check the scoreboards. Or, <laughs> like, okay, okay, Georgia's up or Mizzou's up. Like, okay, you know that. But not sit and actually watch the full game. We don't get to do that, I would say, unless you go back and record it or whatever. But it's kind of – that. it's just, you know, crazy how I would, you know – just to, this is a different it's difference now, you know, it's right. now I'm playing on Sundays and now, you know, I'm watching my, my team on Saturdays at work, you know, so it's just great. Yeah. I totally get that. Now that you've played, I mean, three preseason games, right. But you played a lot in those three preseason games, three regular season games. How has the adjustment been to the NFL level? Cause we hear everybody talk about like the speed is different. Physicality is different. How have these six games essentially been for you? Um, I would just say the NFL, like as a whole, is uh, is I would say, um, is very chess orientated, like the game of the game of chess. Like if you think about, you know, checkers and chess, there's a big difference. I'm not saying college football is a checkers game, but the NFL is most definitely a chess game. You know, every piece matters. Everything the timing, the, the moment, the, it, it, it's, it literally comes down to the wire, as Gabe would say. And I would say the game is just so, um, so detail orientated. Like it's, it is no, the things that you did in college, you can't do in the NFL. You know, it's, it's, it's as a detail orientated aspect, like you have to just lock in on the little things I would say. It's not more so showing up and all that, which I've never, ever disrespected the game like that by showing up. Some guys can show up and play, but that ain't me. You know, I, I have to lock in on to the details and prep. And and those are things you have to do now in the NFL more so is I don't have schoolwork. You know, it's this is my job. So it's right. more so just just finding extra ways to get better, you know, as a rookie, you know, just because you're a rookie don't mean, you know, you know, you, you don't play like, you know, we're expecting you to play. You got to know you got to know these certain things. So it's more so just a chess game, man. Like the game of chess is so detail orientated. Every piece has a role. You know what I'm saying? So I would say the NFL is a very detailed game and it's more, more detailed of an aspect of just the little things, foot placement, alignment, tracks, um, one second, the speed, everything plays a factor into you know how you're playing you know you can play full speed but sometimes you might have to slow down a little bit you know sometimes you have to play the, the tempo of this play you know it yeah. might be different it might be this play might not be as fast this play might be fast you know so I would just say the game is just a chess game you know it's a real big chess game and you got to know how to play because if you don't you know you make a too fast move you know <laughs> the hole might not be there and if you get just right there on, on the point of attack, then you're going to be fine. But I'll just say it, it's, it's a very, you know, I would say it's very humbling to come into the NFL and just know that, okay, like I have way more things that I can get better on as a football player, not as just a running back, a football player yeah. and special teams, knowing what I have to do is as deeper than just knowing it actually like, if this happens, I'm gonna do this. If this happens, I'm gonna do this. It's very detailed, I would say. But um, I think I've been doing a good job of just you know listening and try to own in and improve my football FBI, my football intelligence, and just you know play football because you know coach always tells me uh, when we're in when we're in the room, you know I'm preparing you for the test, you know. So when you get on the Sunday, Sunday is the test. But right, I mean, you just gotta be a football player. Um, and just, you know, you prepare throughout the week. So now it's just trying to play football. 
Yeah, I just wanted to ask you, you know, you're about to do something different now. You're about to play Monday Night Football, you know, your first kind of big primetime game in the NFL. Are mm-hmm. you a little bit excited for that? And uh, what do you think about uh, your opponent so far? You've been studying and I know you said you can't just show up, right? You got to study and prepare for the Raiders. So what are you, some of your thoughts on them? Uh, I would say they're very, uh, their defense is very, um, you, know, you know, they apparently, I wasn't here, but the old staff here is over there now. So they yeah, have three yeah. defensive uh coaches that were over here so I mean they run you know what basically what they used to run here they're running over there but again we don't know you know the coach can come up with a different um I would say scheme a blitz scheme it could be he's not just gonna say hey we're gonna run the same thing I ran with the Chargers like it's not gonna work that it's again it's a chess game so we have to expect for him to bring some type of complex pressure or some type of look that we haven't seen so I would say those are the things that we've been, you know, prepping for. But at the end of the day, you know, you know, it's it's this every week it's the same thing. You're, you're prepping, you go through first downs, blitzes, third downs. What do they do? So more so, um, I think they're a very they, they have a very good defense. And again, Coach Daly said the reason why they won their three and zero is because of their defense. You know, so yeah. I would just say. Um, they got uh they got a couple guys, but at the end of the day, you know, we got guys too. So at the end of yeah. the day, we just have to match their players and basically not make mistakes and not shoot ourselves in the foot, you know, and um, we'll be fine. Yeah, I think this is going to be a really fun game for, for everybody involved. One thing that I want to talk specifically about you, though, is that I really noticed that you really seek out that contact specifically and like blitz pickups. Where does that come from from you and like, is that something that you go into each week going like, all right, this, this blitz is going to come and I'm just going <laughs> to pop this guy. Like, where well, does that come I from for do, you? I'll just say, man, like, you know, we have three rules in the running back room. All right. Run the football, protect the ball, protect the quarterback. You got to protect Herbie, man. You can't yeah. you don't want nobody. So you, you, that's where it comes from. You know what I'm saying? Just protect your guy. Like you're the last person beside the quarterback. So you just don't want nobody touching your guy. So, you know, and I got I can I got to improve on that, too. So I would just say just that just comes from doing your job. You know, the three things run the football, protect the football, protect the quarterback. So that's it. It's doing your job as a running back. Alex, you got yeah, one more no, question? Yeah, yeah no, ahead. definitely. I, I got one more question. So. You know, you talk about uh, playing with Justin Herbert. I want to know sort of, you know, he's your first pro quarterback that you've played with. What are some of your thoughts on him and some of the uh, other Chargers, you know, kind of stars like Bosa and everybody else that you've gotten to speak with or talk to as a whole? I would say uh, Justin, he's a very uh, – he's a good dude. He loves the game of football. Um, some he uh, <laughs> He's very funny sometimes. He'll say something I'm like, Okay, Herbie. But um, he's a great dude, man. He has an icon. I call his arm a bionic arm. Like, it's not normal. You know, his arm is like. It's not. It's different. <laughs> it's different. So, like, he did something today at practice, and I was like, okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> that dude, he he can play football. He loves the game of football. You know, I would say um, Bosa, he, you know, wears my son tan and lotion. He's always asking for his son tan lotion. <laughs> 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 so he's like asking for his suntan lotion, and uh, I always say Austin. Austin's a great dude. You know, he. Uh, I respect. You know his game. I respect. You know his journey. Him being undrafted and you know yeah. his where he's at now. Like he earned everything. You know he he has my respect. And all the running backs in the room: JJ, DB, um, Gabe, and uh, JK. But uh, as far as defense, though, um, me and uh, Duran. I uh, talked to him a lot during camp. He helped me a lot. Um, he's a great dude. He helped me out, you know, as far as um, just uh, playing free more so instead of just, you know, when you get on the field and, you're, you know, it's a lot of stuff going on during camp. You know, you got installs, you got this. But at the end of the day, you know, you're, you know, you dream of this moment for so long. But it's like now when it's happening, it's like, oh, but what do I do? You know, you actually know what to do. You're just thinking too much. So yeah. this helped me. He helped me play free and help me. Um, he helped me basically just be a football player, like on the football, like don't be thinking. And I would say uh, Limbaugh actually helps me a lot too. You know, he's a OG. He done been in this game for a long time. So yeah, every time he gives me advice, I listen to him. And um, 
yeah, got a got a lot of OGs, you know. So you know, that's all you can do is just. I I told myself, you know, I will seek knowledge of the game from wherever anybody, you know, anybody who's in the locker room, you know. So I'm a you know I'm a rookie, but at the end of the day, you know, as much knowledge that I seek, I can apply, you know, to later. Yeah. You know, how many years I'm in the NFL, or you know, this year, you know, just being alone this year as a rookie, I can apply the knowledge, you know, to to my job now, you know. So that's the great thing about having guys like that on the team. I love that, man. That's a great mentality to have. And I, thank you for sharing that about Joey Bosa, man. I think that is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, he's um, good. He's like, where's my son Terry Bosa? <laughs> like, oh, no, bro. I'm like, man, it's like, I don't know. It's like right there. I don't know. Shoot, I don't know. <laughs> We gotta get we gotta get Joey a consistent person to go to that that holds his suntan lotion for you. I think like I remember one day he was looking for it, man. He was like, I "Can't find my suntan." <laughs> he could not find it. Like you know, he was looking for it. Like he was, he had his shoes everywhere. He could not find it. He was like, "Oh, there it is." It was like right there in the corner. Like yeah, bro. That's amazing. I love that so much. All right, last question, Larry. Can't thank you enough for taking the time to join us. You've been very generous with your time. Uh, you mentioned it earlier about, you know, sharing that moment with your mom. When you get that first career touchdown, man, like, what's the celebration going to be like? Oh, man, bro. I'm finna go. Oh, man. <laughs> One, I'm going to find my mom and I'm going to point her into the stands after I'm done celebrating. So now I'm going to give her the ball after the game. But first off, you know, I don't know. Y'all just got to watch the see, man. It's going to be something. I'm going to tell you that. There we go. That's what we I'm like to hear. I'm not getting fine, though. I'm, We're I'm excited. Not fine. I'm not getting <laughs> fine, but I am going to do a lot. You know what I'm saying? So just, you know, and it's not for me. It's for moms, you know? So there we go. It's not, I'm not trying to score for me. Everybody. I want to score a touchdown. I want to score for my mom and my team, you know? So that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> well, there we go, man. Sounds good. Looking forward to it. I appreciate the tease. You got to leave, leave people wanting a little more. So I appreciate that. Um, Larry, thanks for taking the time to join us, man. Can't thank you enough for your uh, your generosity and, and everything that you're able to share with us today. Oh, no problem. Thank you guys for having me. Yeah. Thanks.